What's happening everybody? Jay Shockblast here and check it out. I'm so excited about this. From Hot Toys and Sideshow Collectibles, we have Ray and BB-8. Uh, this kind of completes my Star Wars uh, The Force Awakens collection. I don't think I have any other from the movie on... Oh wait, no, I have the Resistance version of Ray on pre-order. Uh, but I have Ray, I have Finn, I have Phasma, I have Ren... Um, and I've got some stormtroopers. I don't think I'm going to get many more. Uh, maybe I'll get a couple snowtroopers and whatnot. But uh, I have the, the main characters from the movie as far as I'm concerned. And I'm just so excited to finally have these. Um, let's go ahead and just get right to it, right? Um, this came in the mail today, finally. Um, and, yeah. Uh, looks like it's going to be pretty awesome. So... You know, just a very plain and basic box. Now, I'm really actually very excited to uh, to take the the cover off here because lately the, the artwork they've had uh, that covers up the actual figure has been phenomenal. And, uh, you know, they don't disappoint too much here. Um, hold on. I, I have, like, this enormous desk, and it's still not the perfect size for this for some reason so there we go uh, really really cool artwork on the inside of the box and let's go ahead and pull that aside and there it is so the box was pretty small and man there's a lot of accessories in here this is great um, the box was I mean, not really small per se, but like I was wondering how big BB-8 would actually end up being, and uh, not like a huge letdown. I guess it's proportionate. I'll I'll see when it's out of the package. Um, so you know, let's go ahead and uh, pull off the top plastic cover. Um, so unboxing these can be a little awkward. So. Um, Apologies if it's awkward, but uh, you know, it is what it is. Love these. I should have uh, Captain America from Civil War coming in in the next few days. Um, so let's go ahead and look at the accessories. Uh, there's all these different hands. There's some new some joints here. Uh, there's this package. That has a satchel, a scarf, um, it looks like it's got her head, head stuff, like stuff to go over her, her head wrap and everything. She has a lightsaber and a staff. And here she is. It feels a lot different than, um, than Finn. You know, Finn feels fuller. She definitely feels... Like she's meant to be a female character. Uh, we've got the base down here, which looks like it has some sand on it. Or sand to it. And I'm already having her fall down. So we'll figure that out in a moment here. Uh, here's the base. So BB-8 does come in two pieces. Looks like... Uh, There's an on-off switch in here. Spherical part. Static electricity. Woo. <laughs> I don't know why, but that's hilarious to me. Um, there's something weighted in it. Probably... I don't know. Let's... Uh, came in the on position. Oh, it's magnetic. So my whole magnetic point was not interesting. Whoa, okay. <laughs> the magnets are there, but um, interesting. So he kind of stays upright on his own and he doesn't really move. Um, this doesn't really move with him, per se, but it does readjust. Let's do this. <laughs> I 
Interesting. So that's kind of cool. Um, so what else we got? We've got for the stand here. Um, looks like we've got, oh, maybe that wasn't the head piece. Uh, looks like this is like a shoulder pad or something. Um, oh, th these are her glasses. I'm not going to put the head headpiece, well, maybe for the sake of the video I will. Um, also my, my camera's like two inches from my face, so apologies if uh, I'm loud or breathy. I'm a human, I do that. Um, here's a staff. I am going to go with the staff over the lightsaber, uh, because I am getting the resistance version of Ray. And that will have the lightsaber. Um, so, and then there's the instructions right here. Now, typically, I don't really feel like I have to get into the instructions, but uh, there's a lot going on here. So this time around, I might actually need to get into the instructions. Like, I have no idea. I'm assuming the base is uh, meant for BB-8, this uh, kind of sandy sandy base here. Uh, assuming that there's like this divot so that you can sit BB-8 on it. Have him hang out with the pop BB-8. Um, so as usual lately, I don't, you can't really see it. Um, I can't see my viewfinder right now so I don't 100% know everything that you're seeing. Um, you can kind of see it does say BB-8 and Ray. And yeah, so cool. You can see that it's meant to go like this. Um, so that you can put the support right there. So there you go. And I don't think I'm cutting her head off right yet, um, but you can rest BB-8 right here, and it sits pretty well. Um, there's not a mag. It'd be cool if they put a magnet under there somehow. Um, so I'm gonna take Ray off camera slightly. True story. Um, I, I think my, my girlfriend Becky looks a little bit like Ray. I would put a, well, actually a lot like Ray. I'd put a picture right here, but she would kill me. You know, some people don't approve of putting themselves out there. I don't get it. I want to, I want to put her out there, you know, like it's a huge win for me. certainly makes me look better. Yeah. You know what I mean? Overachieving always makes the dude look better. But I digress. So I'm trying to be careful here. So, boom. We'll zoom in on her in a second. Oh, this is fantastic. Um, I don't really need her to, to hold the staff, per se. I actually just want it to kind of rest on her shoulder. Oh, uh, this is awesome. I love this. This is, honestly, I think more... This is my favorite one out of the four major new characters uh, for the movie, and you can't even see her head. I just noticed that. I thought her head was in view. Um, but this is definitely my favorite of the four new ones for the movie, um, like the non-stormtroopers, you know, out of Phasma, Ren, and uh, Finn. Um, just a, an amazing piece. 
Uh, I love the BB-8 that comes with it. Like, this is just gorgeous. And I, I'm really glad, like, when they announced um, that they were doing a Resistance version of this, I was kind of bummed. I was like, oh, that's the one that I would much rather have. But then I'm like, no, I want them both. So, like, I, I had to have both of them. Daisy Ridley is, like, not necessarily the type of girl that I'm attracted to, per se. But, like, she's definitely, you know, a very beautiful woman. Um, so it's like, I don't know. I don't know where I was going with that, but, uh, I just, I think they did such a great job capturing her. Yeah, I don't know where I was going with that. <laughs> um, looks, uh, looks uncanny. Like, when I got thin, I was like, damn, that face, everything about it just looks incredible. And, uh, we're gonna explore the accessories here. I'm going to, uh, open up the instructions. Oh, yeah, it was actually a headdress, it looks like. Um, I want to try to get, you know, as many of these as I can. So, it shows her with her head wrap. Um, due to nature of the materials, don't wear the head wrap for long periods of time. Otherwise, it may lead to paint fading on the head sculpt. Well, that's discouraging. So, um, so here are these accessories. And... I mean, I get what they're saying. They're just kind of protecting themselves. Um, so, this is, I want to say this is probably the head wrap. But it doesn't look right. Oh, I see, I see. This one actually goes so that it, it covers, like you put the glasses on, and then I think you put it over her. And this one is, huh, I don't know what this is. I want to say, it's got like a little, a little pin right here. Maybe this goes around her waist, I don't know. Um, this is obviously her, you know, satchel. Oh, no, this is her backpack. So, this is actually a backpack. Um... Yeah, I don't know if I need her to carry the backpack. And then this is just a scarf, it looks like. So, assuming you can just put this around her neck. Um, of course, all right. Uh, take off. Oh, wow, it has, I see, there's an accessory in here so that BB-8 can put his little thing out, um, his little arm. Uh, take the head off the battery, the batteries are included, unscrew and open the battery box to put in the batteries. Activate the light up function by turning on the on off switch. Wow, so this, the instructions here are all for BB-8. There's that one little thing about the wrap, all right, here's Ray. Um, so, it shows you how to take her arms on and off, it shows you how to put her backpack on, she's got a gun in there, yeah, so as you can see, right here, this is supposed to cover up her face, I don't know, it doesn't really say what this little bandana thing is, um, I'll cover up her face just for the video. Uh, let's see. Also doesn't really say what this is. Maybe it does and I just didn't look hard enough. Probably that. Alright, 
right, so there's the glasses. So let's put this headdress over her. I need to take her off screen for just a moment to do this. Well, I guess I can do it like this. Yeah, see, I don't understand. Like, this doesn't actually... Is it... I don't know if I'm not I'm doing it right. It just doesn't pull down. I just don't want to damage it, I guess. Like, it says you can pull it down over her face, but um, it doesn't actually... Like, I'm afraid I'm going to rip it if I do that. It doesn't look the same as... All right, let me just take the staff off. That'll probably help things a little bit. This is the awkward part of doing these reviews. Um, so, like, I feel like I'm going to rip this uh, accessory that I'm not going to necessarily use, but I don't want to damage it, you know, just in case. Um, the slit here is not... It's not big enough to actually go over her eyes, uh, which is a little disappointing. Um, yeah, I'm not missing anything here. So the shoulder piece goes over her shoulder. I'm not going to use that either. Um, So this is basically how, I mean, it's kind of ridiculous, this, the, the headpiece here does not, it's not made well, I'm sorry, I gotta just be honest, I know I'm probably doing it wrong, it's probably my fault, but this headpiece is kind of dumb. Place the goggles on top of the forehead, over the eyes. Yeah. All right. Wait. Do you? Maybe I am the. Maybe I am doing it wrong. Maybe you're supposed to. Maybe it comes inside out. It doesn't say. Uh, maybe, that's the problem. No, I don't think I'm doing that wrong. That actually makes it worse. So it's not inside out. Wait, maybe it is. It looks like it... Like, I don't know. It looks, it looks a little bit more proper when you do it the other way. Okay, so... This is supposed to go around her waist. Okay. Um... Oh, it's telling you to take her head off. So, first take the head off the sculpt and place the head wrap onto the head in the direction as shown. The seam should be at the back of the head as indicated. Okay. Well, I don't really want to take the head off, though. That's the thing, but so be it. Things I do for you guys. I hate taking these off. I just don't want to break it, you know? So the head's off, and it says to put her head in, as shown. I can see why they want you to do this. 
although it's not necessarily making it any better for me. Um, so you're supposed to tilt this forward towards the forehead. Okay, that's how you basically, I don't know if you guys can even see this or if it's even in focus. Um, I feel so awkward having this in my hand. Okay. The tip of the head wrap should be positioned at the top on the hair bun first. Carefully wrap over... Alright, I think I got it on the hair... No. You gotta get it over the hair bun. Again, I brought up the awkward part. Yeah, this is this is not the best execution ever for them, but all right. So we've got that done, and it's hilarious because I'm just going to take this right off after. All right. All right, cool. So it's a little awkward and I don't love it. I um, mean, maybe I didn't do it the best, but I did, come on, get in focus. I did manage to get the accessory on. I I don't love it myself, um, but, you know, that's how you do it. I mean, that's how they intended. There's other accessories, like I said, there's the backpack. Uh, I'm not going to use the backpack personally, and, uh. I'm not going to use the headdress either, so fortunately it comes off easier uh, than it does go on. Um, and I guess theoretically I could have her hold the staff, but I do like her having it on her back. Um, I will show you, I guess, just the lightsaber in case you do decide you want to use the lightsaber with her. So, there she is with the lightsaber, but she's getting her staff. So anyway, uh, thank you for clunking along with me. Oh wait, I gotta, I gotta show you BB-8. Um, so where is my screwdriver? So, there is a teeny, I don't know if this screwdriver is going to be too big, probably. Gotta keep your tools handy. Yeah, this is too big. I think I have another one. Uh, just where did I put it? Alright, well, unfortunately, I don't have a tiny little screwdriver that can uh, get this out while wow, the magnets are strong. I'm using a little razor blade, hoping that that's good enough, but it doesn't appear to be. Um, but this, you know, BB-8 lights up. Um, there is a piece on here that I believe pops off. Uh, right here. 
right here you can pop it off and uh, you can put some accessories here. I'm not going to really do it. So that's technically the right, right side up, I think. So, but the BBH is pretty cool. So uh, there is Ray from Hot Toys and Sideshow. Again, I know probably not, you know, most perfect unboxing ever, but you know, I like to make mine natural. There we go. Uh, one more look at kind of the accessories here. And of course we have all the hands. There's a bunch of them. Some of them have gloves on, some of them don't. I'm just gonna leave her au natural the way she came. So, uh, beautiful piece. Um, you know, definitely out of all the Star Wars sideshow ones for The Force Awakens, definitely my favorite by far and away. So, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and we'll see ya.